Welcome everyone, Creative Lori here, hello. If you are new to my channel, I am a home stager and I'd like to share with you all um, some of my DIYs, some of my decor hauls that I do for my own home and for uh, my home business and um, tutorials on staging. I will catch up on those, I promise. Um, but today is a very special day. Um, Chrissy from Hosted by Chrissy, I will link her channel down below in the description box, has uh, presented a challenge that I just found out about today. So I'm, I had to work a little bit today and I had to kind of scurry about and come home and I wanted to participate in this challenge because it's a tribute to our moms, whether they're here or not. And um, my mom passed almost three years ago, uh, it'll be in June. And this is a really tough month for me, I'm not gonna lie. And um, it was her birthday month and Mother's Day. But my dad and I do still honor her and we get her flowers every Mother's Day and her birthday. And we set them by where she used to, her favorite sitting area. And we get together and we make her, fa her favorite foods and we make a nice dinner. And it's just a tribute, you know, day for her and in her honor. And so I wanted to definitely, it is hard for me, but I wanted to contribute to this to honor my mom. So the challenge is called um, Flowers for Mom. Sorry. <laughs> Flowers for Mom. Nice and simple. And the rules were, they were pretty loose. So it was great. So you could really take off with it. And the rules were you could spend any amount of money. You can use real flowers, faux flowers, paper, whatever. You could do a DIY. And so um, I already had some of the components together, but I had taken it apart and then redid it. So I'm going to show you what I did, and I hope you like it, you guys. Um, but I will also include in the description box the playlist of all the other YouTubers that have participated in this beautiful challenge. Um, so make sure you check out their channels as well and see what they came up with. I can't wait to check it out. So thank you, Chrissy, for hosting this. Um, so I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can hear me a little better. Um, so I just put it on this little galvanized cake plate. Now, I put the cloche over it because I know my cats are gonna try to get into it. So I'm just gonna show you all what I did. Um, you may have seen me haul these beautiful teacups from Target. They were on clearance by Threshold and they were 209. And I had three of them and I thought to myself, you know, why do I need three? I only need two, but I'm glad I kept them all because if one breaks, then I have um, another. Now, my mom had loved flowers. They were huge to her. Birds and green. That was her favorite color. So I really think that she would love this. But basically what it is, um, is a Dollar Tree sprig. That's all. And then these little twiggy, curly Q twigs that come on like a long stick and I just snapped them off and um, stuck them into the styrofoam um, foam down here. And I put the sprigs in, the twigs, Spanish moss on top. And of course I did not have a little bird and she loved birds. So I had this bird that the cats have been batting away at and pulled all of its feathers off. And I think they've had it since like Valentine's Day. <laughs> and so I finally took it away from them and it already, it was just the form. And so it had the beak attached, the eyes I took off and I decided to use a little bit of um, cream colored burlap that I had left over from Walmart. So what I did was I had cut a little triangle or rectangular piece like that size Okay, and I had put it on, I'm going to take it apart so you guys can see. It only has one leg left too, by the way. <laughs> they really did a number on it. So I put that on the breast and hot glued it all the way down. Then I cut a triangle piece um, like about that big. Okay, 
and I had put it over her little beak like so to kind of to cover her chest and to um, kind of make it like her you know her little head area and then glued that down and then tucked and tucked and tucked like that and so that it kind of gave the effect when I kept tucking um, I hot glued see how it hot glued it here and I kept tucking underneath a little bit so it almost created this wing effect but it's very subtle and then I let the tail feathers be the fringe of the burlap so I had hot glue all the way on each side, tucking under and then hot gluing. And I did hot glue here to press it down to give it more form. And then like on the side and I think here too. So I put the eyes back in. I put the one leg back in. <laughs> and I put her right here on top of the Spanish moss. And then I made this little egg. I, didn't, I had put away all my eggs from Easter. So I just made it out of um, foil and then put some of the burlap around that. It's obviously not perfect, the shape. I tried, but with the hot glue being hot and everything, it was just hard to get that shape. So I put a little Spanish moss there and then this um, oddly shaped egg, as you can see. <laughs> so I thought it was really cute, the cream colored um, uh, little, um, bur or a hot glue strand the cream colored burlap against the white here so I thought that was a perfect little complement with the cream colored flowers and the little sprigs and so I just put it on my cheese plate here on that cheese plate holder but I didn't use a dome because it was too small and I just kind of carefully maneuvered the cloche over this and just kind of wiggle it back and forth and there you go now I could have put it on here and it looked cute on here on the white one or I could have put it on this wood one but I liked I liked the white and I like this galvanized one so there it is guys that's my flowers for mom and I hope she likes it and I think it turned out pretty cute so Guys, go check out all of the other participants and um, see what they've created. I can't wait to check it out. Thank you, Chrissy, for hosting this awesome challenge. And um, I want to make sure you guys know the playlist will be in my description box. And I will uh, um, put that in there. So you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful Mother's Day. Bye, guys.